Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to build Firebase API endpoint. Firebase is a single stop platform where developers place their databases and access them for building their mobile apps, web apps, iOS, Android. So it is a multi-pronged app through which we can uh, store our data in a single place and we can access it from other places. So to build this API, we are going to be using a very simple and easy to use no code API builder tool called as nocodeapi.com. So let's start building one. To demonstrate you or to make you understand how this API works, we have this collection of users and then we have another collection with the name of products and currently we have two items. One is shirt, one is shoes and we want to fetch this list of products from this collection products and we want to fetch the list of users. So to do all of this, we are going to head over to nocodeapi.com and then log in to nocodeapi's dashboard. Go to marketplace, write Firebase over here, click on use this API, make Firebase admin API, give it a name database the json is an authentication file to get it we are going to go to the settings button project settings go to service accounts here generate new private key generate key and it is going to download into your downloads folder go back to no code api here upload json file click on the file you just downloaded and click create our api is created now we can do all these operations on this endpoint for example we had three users in firebase and we want to fetch them to fetch all the users go to list all users and run this api we got three users which we had in Firebase. If we want to fetch a single user, we have to input its user ID, click and test this API, and it is going to fetch only this user. If we want to fetch user by email, we can do that also. For example, user2 at gmail.com and we got user at gmail.log last time, uh, his password, how did he authenticate while logging into our app. So all these important information. And if we want to fetch documents in a particular collection, we can give the name of our collection. For example, it is product and we want to fetch all the products we have in products collection, run list documents and you will get all these products in JSON format. Currently we have only two, one is black shoes and the other one was shirts, shirt, 90 US dollar, its description. So we got the important information related to this collection. So this is how you can easily build Firebase API to keep a backup of all the collection or of all the users you currently have in your own local computer or somewhere else where you want to analyze it. This is it. If you have any queries, you can click on this support button and we will get back to you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.